Hey there, my name is Shafir Yunus and in this mini C or this playlist we will learn about Kotlin for beginners. So if you are new to Kotlin and you want to use it for your Android project or for something else, this is the right place to start learning Kotlin. So let's get started. Kotlin is a language developed by JetBrains. It can be used on web front end, server side for Android and also on multi-platform mobile. All right, so this is the basic website for Kotlin language. It's here. So if you go to why we need Kotlin, there is some description and a small snippet of codes you can use. Kotlin is concise and safe. If you develop application using Java or any other language, you will see that Kotlin is concise. What does we mean by concise? Concise is you will write less and you will get more things. So this is an example of Kotlin. You will write the data class just by prefixing your class with data. It will generate for you the equals hash code and to, to string and copy method. You can use the singleton, singleton fraction directly from the language. It's provided with the language and many things else. It's also safe. It lets you deal with the null things directly in your program in your com at compile time. Okay. And not at try time. Sometimes in our project, when we use Java, we forget that some things are null. Okay. But here, the compiler will reinforce this constraint. All right. And many other things. You can use it with Java directly. You can use your Java classes directly in Kotlin and vice versa. And it is also multi platform. All right. So to get started using Kotlin, let's download IntelliJ. I will be using IntelliJ. Go to this link. I will provide it in the download section below. Click here on download. If you are on Mac or Linux, check this too. I'm using Windows. There is basically two types of IntelliJ, the paid version and the community version. The paid version, I don't know its price. You can get it also if you are a student by providing your certificate of student or I think the email of the university, something like that. You need also something else called the GDK. But you have to download it in your machine and install it also. Let's search for it. GDK 8 or 11 or anything you want. I'm using 8 and you can use 11 also. Just download it from here and install it. It is straightforward. Let's install now IntelliJ. Click on next here, the default location. It is okay. You don't want, yes, let's have a launcher here. Click next. On the start menu also and let's install it. Okay. It will take some time. 2000 years later. After the installation, you can run it directly from here. This is the first screen you will get when installing IntelliJ. You can create a new project here. I will show you how to create a new project in the next video, hopefully. And you can, what you can do now is customize it. Okay. You can, I don't know. I love chocolate theme. You can use it or you can use the default light theme. That's it. Let's change it back to Dracula and that's it. Thank you for joining us in this video. I hope you will stay with us for this journey of learning Kotlin. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video.